What's up, guys? Uh, we're gonna go meet up with uh, Ben Armstrong tonight. Uh, you guys know him as Bit Bit Boy. Some of you guys know him as Bit Boy. Uh, he's uh, he he's out in Idaho. Wanted to come and say hi to. Uh, well, I wanted to come say hi to him. See what go pick his brain a little bit. See why are you just now getting into hex? Why are you shilling it? What what's going on? What's behind it? And uh, behind the, the 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 brain behind the eyes, right? Um, and uh, I'm going to go out there and talk to him. We're just going to do a short, uh, it'll probably be like a vlog style, vlog slash infomercial. This is going to be a little bit different than my normal videos, but, uh, you know, if you're not already hit the subscribe, hit the likes, hit the comments of what you guys think about Mr. Uh, Mr. Ben Armstrong. And, uh, I'll see you guys, uh, when I get back. All right, we're here. I got Bit Boy, or no, excuse me, Ben Armstrong. Whoa, you don't whoa. love it. Okay. Well, I don't know. Maybe we'll go by Bit Boy again one day. We'll see. Can you? Can you? I don't know if. Uh, actually, I think I can. Uh, they they really? released the the trademark or whatever. I think, but okay. uh, I would rather wait until I'm back in the studio okay. uh, to maybe bring back the Bit Boy name. But uh, we brought I I bring in Ben here because uh, you know he's a cool dude. He's uh, he's out there shilling hex now. He's talking about hex. He's one of the uh, I would say even a hexagon. He's had Richard Hart on his show. Yeah. He's got to talk. Dr. Richard. Uh, so what do, you, what do you think about Richard? Uh, me and Richard are buddies. I love Richard. I haven't talked to him in, in uh, you know, maybe maybe eight months or something like that. I mean, ever since a lot of that stuff started. Yeah. Um, I think maybe I touched base with him one time. Uh, but I, I've always loved Richard. And people are going to find I, I stayed neutral on Hex, not necessarily because I wanted to. Um, look, in the very beginning, I wanted to be right. neutral. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But there was a part <laughs> during the last cycle that I was like, OK. Uh, but there were some external factors that were keeping me from doing some stuff in, in my last business. Uh, now all that stuff is gone. Right. And so uh, like people see that tension oh. between me loving Richard and not being able to come out as pro Hex. Right. Uh, look, look at my Gucci shirt. It's actually Hex color. It is Hex color. Yeah. Also, color. guys, I want to show you guys a secret. Uh, a lot of people see me wearing Gucci and they're like, man, this guy's rich. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, guys, uh, I got a giant hole in the side of it. Uh, guys, I'm literally too poor to buy new shirts. Uh, so this is a shirt that was purchased uh, back before everything happened. Oh, yeah, it's the, from the Indian market. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, but look, I, I, I think that I, I absolutely love Richard. I adore Richard. I think he's an awesome guy. And as someone who has been thrown under the bus nonstop, uh, especially recently, no. for all the wrong reasons, for stuff that I didn't even do, um, I know Richard gets a lot of that too, and I know the Hex right. community relates with that as well. Yeah. And guys, like, like I know a lot of people in the Hex community, they're wondering what my intentions are, right? Well, I'm going to show you over time, no question. Uh, but I know there's a lot of people who are like, I don't know, like, what's up with this guy? He's coming in here, he's talking about this stuff. Guys, there's no other community out there uh, that understands more what I've been going through personally <laughs> with my business sure. in the last six months than the Hex yeah. people. And you guys have showed out, and uh, they've been supportive, and I, I've appreciated it. I know there's some people that are a little, and look, I, I want to be very clear here. Uh, I'm okay with people in the Hex community being hesitant about me. I'm right. totally fine with it. Because uh, like I said a few seconds ago, or a few minutes ago, uh, over time you're going to see. Uh, so get all of it out now. If you want to say some bad stuff, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to hold it against you. I'm not going to be upset about it. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to have to block people. You say stuff all the time. Right, uh, right. So, you know, uh, might, <laughs> yeah, you know yeah, be careful with it a little bit. Yeah, don't yeah. want to get blocked for when you come back around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, so you've been, uh, you know, on this journey, and I, I am considering it the hero's journey that yeah. you're going through. It's kind <laughs> of, we, you know, and I've been through it, too. I've had my days, yeah. but, you know, you come up, and I think that that's what you're doing right now. I think yeah. you're building back, and building back better. You're, you're Biden guy. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah big, <laughs> big Biden guy. I love Joe Biden. Uh, who doesn't? Uh, We're man. in Idaho. We just love him here. Oh, I bet they do love him here in Idaho. Uh, but, maybe Idaho. I don't know. <laughs> No, so yeah, I mean it's uh, it's great to see it. I, I like somebody that. I mean, it happened to Richard. Richard, yeah. I think you know. I think that that's kind of what the outrage marketing did. Is it's going to bring him back up to where he's yeah. made an awesome coin. No, well, he's I'm, made an awesome coin with Pulse Chain and yeah. everything. And then, Pulse Chain's uh, great. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I would say. Uh, I am the wish.com version of Richard Hart. Uh, Richard is far more outlandish and right. has, he has far right. more bravado than me. And that's so hard to do. Right. And he crushes me on it. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, I think that, uh, you know, his he, he was doing he was playing a character for marketing, I believe, and a lot right. of stuff. Yeah. Uh, I'm just me. Uh, I am me. I'm, I'm, I'm real. I'm transparent. It is what it is. Um, certainly going through a lot of stuff like he, he went through, uh, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. But a lot of people, you, I mean, you got a New York Times article just yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, hey, at least you're getting your name out there. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> I work, I, we, we work with David. I mean, David was a, the, oh, okay. the, he was, he was a journalist. A lot of people think it's some hit piece. 
Right, that yeah. guy's not really a hippie. He just does what happened. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's yeah, literally exactly. what happened. Yeah, yeah. Uh, certainly, I was kind of hoping to be a little more favorable. We had some stuff I was hoping he would put in there that he didn't. Uh, but that's okay. We're not mad at David. We're not, we're not, it wasn't a hit piece. Right. Uh, really, I kind of think what it is, is it was a, a, a cautionary tale of what happens yeah. when you get very successful, make a lot of money in crypto, everybody, sure. everybody comes after you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and most people can't. Fight. You know, you can't fight that. Oh, yeah. uh, there's nothing I like better. Well, I'm <laughs> so, glad that you got to come yeah. back because, like, I mean, how long have you had your YouTube channel now? Uh, so, well, Jan- uh, I started making crypto videos in November of 2017, well, uh, but I started my own channel in February 2018. Uh, no, but the, like the one that you just had, the Ben Armstrong? Oh, oh, you're talking about when I started doing yeah, Armstrong? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I think we started doing regular videos there in October. We were making yeah, some videos. So you've there. almost got 100,000 yeah, followers yeah. in, what, four months? And yeah, I, yeah. I sent you an email or a <laughs> Twitter where it's like the old one was is getting 1,000 views and you're yeah. getting 10,000, 20,000 right, yeah. views. So it's like they, people want to follow the, the man, not the Yeah, the man, it's true. Right? Well, that's, that's what the people in the old business hate. Uh, <laughs> they were so jealous of me. It's so funny. Uh, DJ and Justin Williams hated me so much. Like, I'm all they thought about before they went to sleep every night. I didn't know. I just thought we were friends. I thought we were cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I was going to wake up one day and they're like, hey, we took your business from you. Uh, oh, so, wow. But we're going to get it back. I'm not, look, I want everybody to understand. I'm 100% getting BitBoy Crypto back. Okay. 100%. It's just a matter of time. Right. Uh, we, we were supposed to have an emergency hearing. You know, it's a little behind the scenes stuff. Supposed to have an emergency hearing on Friday. Okay. And that once we get a receiver in place with the business, a receiver is a person that's in charge of the business. Right. They can. They won't be able to steal anymore. That's all they've been doing is stealing. TJ created his own real estate company and, and, and funneled all my real estate into his own company. Wow. And we have proof. We have evidence of all this. Wow. Uh, he said from day one. What do you guys think about this? <laughs> this is the kind of guy that TJ Shed is. Which, by the way, I just got some great tweets. Uh, somebody had sent me of okay. TJ saying stuff against Hex. Okay. Uh, Hex. Uh, oh, yeah. TJ hates Hex. Okay. Hates Richard Hart. The, was so upset when we would have him on the show. And you could see it if you watch the interview right. where he was on the way around the blockchain, the stuff TJ was saying. Yeah. And and the thing is, is like now that I'm free from those people, I can finally talk about, what talk about it, what, what I want to talk about. Um, and, and so w- these people were stealing from me the whole time. And once we get a receiver in place, it's going to stop. So uh, why do you think that they don't like Hex or Richard or what's the... Perfect. I, I can tell you exactly why. Okay. It's exactly the same reason that I was hesitant to talk about Hex at first. Okay. It's because Richard was so out there. Right. And you have to understand at this time, this is 2019. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Jay Chains and I had him on the show. We had it over Beards and Bitcoins. We yep. did it. We did an interview with him that, that went really well. Yeah. And uh, all of a sudden, everybody is calling out, coming out and calling Richard Hardesty. Right, right. Everybody. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Elio, Elio at the time, well, I like yeah, Elio, me and Elio are friends, but Elio at the time was adamantly saying that Hex was definitely a scam. Right, yeah, yeah. I respected Elio a lot. I, I still do, but I'm just saying, like, I, I took that opinion. I was like, oh, God. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. If Elio, he, Elio's really smart. Right. I don't understand how they're saying this is a scam. It don't make sense to me. Right. Uh, it seems like maybe legit. I don't understand enough to make a judgment call on it. But Elio's coming out here saying this is a scam. Yeah. Uh, and then it, he's and then just, everybody. He, right. He's the only one that really comes to my mind. Okay. Um, but there were there were ton, I just remember the time this immense pressure to say Hex was a scam, and I it felt was. like it was. I felt like I was brave because I came out and I said, "You didn't, guys. Know. I don't. I don't. Yeah. I don't know if it's a scam. Yeah. Like yeah. I don't know if it's a scam. Right. Uh, I want to take some time to research it. Um, and it, then I got, you know, like I never yeah. really sat down. Well, and, and then the bull market. Came. Exactly. And, right. and I had tons yeah. of stuff I was already in. Right. And, um, you know, certainly wish I would have been bigger in Hex. <laughs> and I had some Hex early on and sold it. Yeah. And made a lot of money on it, but yeah. uh, could have made, you know, a hundred times more. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Which would have been nice now. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the fact is, is that, um, you know, early on with, with this immense pressure to call it a scam, I felt like I was being victorious by coming out and saying I don't right. know if it's a scam. I, I, that was that was extremely against the, the popular narrative at the time. And, and I think you guys should understand this. I mean, look across the crypto landscape. Which major mainstream crypto YouTuber treats Hex like it's a regular project? Yeah, nobody. 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 Not a single one. Yeah. Uh, and that's changing. Uh, yeah. And I was talking to uh, RG3 today. Actually, I had to meet with RG3 today. Uh, real excited. We're going to do something, I think, on Friday okay. uh, where uh, I think he's going to attack me nonstop and I'm going to defend myself. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. I got it. I've been boxing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I got that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, good good the thumbnail. Is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, I'm really looking forward to meeting up with a lot more. Yeah, yeah. I've had a lot of, lot of good calls with people. Uh, Marlon, Marlon Williams from the 
uh, Pulse Chain Foundation, another guy I've, okay. uh, I've, I've talked with. I met with RG3 today. Uh, yeah. well, like I said, we're going to be doing something. Uh, I meet with a lot of these hex people, and um, I'm letting everybody know uh, that in, in, in what should the hex community expect from Ben Armstrong? Right. You can expect I'm going to treat you like you're normal. I'm not going to treat you like a bunch of freaks, uh, which is the way everybody else treats you, uh, which I know well. And so, and so uh, I'm not going all in on hex symbols. There's only coins I'm going to cover. Right. You guys know I cover so and, and you know what? Here's the thing, guys. I think you should be encouraged that someone who covers a lot of other chains and has a lot of good projects is now saying, hey, I'm going to bring this into normalcy. Right. And I'm hoping that this can normalize hex and pulls. Because look, hex is what hex is, okay? Pulse chain? Pulse chain has nothing to do with hex, really. Right, yeah, yeah. You know, pulse chain yeah, is its, its own so chain. Yep. And it's actually like super innovative and super cool. I can't wait to get ben, uh, Bencoin V2 over there. Uh, V1's already over there, but that was Ben.eth. So, um, you know, we, we want to get the V2 over there at some point. And, you know, Bencoin's all about adoption. And that's that's what we want to push. You know, we want to okay. push adoption. And there, there's nothing better. Uh, for adoption in true DeFi, yeah. and Hex is that, and, and Pulse Chain needs changing. more people to come over. For on sure, it. so like, kind of, especially big names. Yes, and no. kind of the way that I foresee this happening is we're going to be doing this podcast. You're going to come on the podcast. No. Teach me how to hex. <laughs> I thought about calling. Teach me how to hex you. Would you teach me? How to? <laughs> but I didn't do that. Yeah. So, so what you guys can expect from me is you can expect me to cover it like it's a regular project, and you can expect me to, to do events with the community, and you can expect me to be at conference. We're going to be at the Pulse Chain conference in Las Vegas. Can't wait to see a lot of you guys there. We're going to do a lot of podcasts on that on the. Uh, on that conference stop if I can yeah. with people from the Hex community. Uh, and you can expect me to do real tangible things to help the Hex community. Yeah. Uh, one thing, like just, just an idea we talked about today uh, was I think they're, they're doing like a, uh, this, may not, this may not be what we're doing, but I'm gonna give people an example so you understand. Uh, you know, there's a, a $2,500 grant, uh, I think that's gonna be given out at the conference okay. uh, towards uh, someone in the Pulse Chain community to build on Pulse. Wow. I think it's what it's for. Uh, and we're talking about matching that. So we will come oh, in wow. and we match that, like another 2,500. So those are the types of things. And of course, helping with the uh, Amicus Curi briefs, anything we can do on the right, legal right. side. Yeah. And of course, I mean, I got a big voice uh, online and in real life. Uh, yeah. So, you know, being able to push this message of normalizing Hex, standing up for Richard, stand up for Richard. Yeah. Uh, this guy does okay. not deserve what is being done to him at all. He's going to be victorious in the end. The only question is, you want to be somebody that points and laughs at him the way the idiot Maximalist <laughs> pointed and right, laughed right. At, at XRP during during the case, or do you want to be somebody that says, see, we're on the winning side. I told you the whole time. Yeah. Uh, so I think Richard is on the winning side. And I, I, I'm glad uh, finally uh, that I can move over here to the Hex and Pulse Chain community and be part of it. And, and um, you know, I'm going to be active. Uh, so hopefully we're going to get this podcast going soon. And I look forward to the conference. And uh, you're going to do a Twitter Spaces this week. A lot of fun stuff. All right. Yeah, we're going to. So uh, last question. Yep. I don't want to keep you here too long. Sure. What, why do you think that these ple- people, like, not hating on Elio, but yeah. you mentioned yeah. him. Like the, and your, you know, the old team that you yeah. had. And all these guys. Why do you think that they came out? And said it was a scam without knowing right. exactly. Like, what changed your mind? What? How? Why do you think that these guys? Well, I I don't ever take anybody's opinion. I'm like, this is truth. Right. Like, I'm always going to yeah. look at. Now, if the person making a logical argument right. that makes yeah. sense, okay. I can apply that and say, oh, that's logical. Right. Uh, but something like something like this, where they're talking about uh, Pulse and uh, Pulse or not Pulse at the time, it was just Hex at the time and right. Richard Hart. You know, the, the, they were taking a lot of things, uh, a lot of straw man arguments, mm-hmm. saying, well, uh, you know, nobody knows who owns that right. Ethereum address. Yeah, yeah. Nobody knows who owns it. <laughs> I mean, Richard's pretty coy, but we all know probably what the yeah. truth is, you know? Uh, I don't know for sure. Uh, no, but we all don't. Nobody, no, nobody knows. knows. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but the fact is, guys, is that, uh, I don't know, one address holding that doesn't make it a scam. Right. Right? There are all of these things where we're like, see? Oh, did you know Richard Hart? <laughs> did you did you know he sent spam email one day? <laughs> oh my God! Do, you know Richard? do not ever invest in that. We're a scam. <laughs> uh, yeah, like that's the, that's the whole thing right there. Is is these people were just saying ridiculous things, yeah. and it was the group thing mentality of it was all of crypto versus this new upstart right. form of finance yeah, yeah. called decentralized finance. Yeah, and Richard, yeah, nobody really knew about it. Richard kind of almost invented. <laughs> like, yeah. You know the the idea of taking a traditional financial instrument. Yep. And bring it on the blockchain just, and then create a project out of it. Like, right. that was revolutionary. Yes. He doesn't get credit for that. Yeah. <clears throat> and I didn't even understand at the time. I didn't understand what DeFi was. That's why it was so confusing. <laughs> right? <laughs> but, that makes sense. Right. The, makes other, sense. the other day, yeah. Yeah, the other day I, was, I was sitting there thinking, I was thinking about the sacrifice. I was doing my Pulse Chain video and I was thinking about the sacrificing and I was like, right. wait a second. 
Larry Fink's talking about they're going to be doing that soon, moving everything <laughs> on chain. Uh, you know, everybody's already been doing this stuff where we have synthetic assets and wrapped assets where right. we take stuff off of one chain and move the value to the to another chain. Nope. It's nonstop. But that's DeFi, and that's what Richard really kind of created. So yeah. I'm, not, I'm not willing to call him the modern father of DeFi, okay? <laughs> uh, but, I like it. I like but we do know he did play a big role in it. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you, Ben, for Definitely. coming. I, uh, appreciate it, really bro. appreciate yeah. it. You're a good dude. Thank you, man. Uh, I hope that everything, you know, with all your coins and everything. Appreciate it. Well. Yeah, thank you, man. Well, we're, <laughs> we're, we're, look, we're, we're all going to get to know each other very well. So uh, love you guys. I uh, right. appreciate you. All right. See you guys. Yeah. All right. I'm just getting back from the... Uh, from the interview with with mr ben armstrong uh cool dude hopefully you guys uh it was entertaining uh as, as much as it was actually meeting him cool dude uh you know anybody that's fading him i don't understand why uh he wants to shill your bags and we should we should be happy about that right uh, i'm okay with it hopefully you guys are okay with it too uh but if you're not let me know in the comments about how angry you are that somebody's shilling your bags uh, even you know I know that there's some of you guys out there. Oh, he's showing, he, he's, he's bad for the brand. I don't know if you guys have seen the outrage marketing that Richard Hart did <laughs> for an entire year, but uh, not entirely sure it could get too much taint, more tainted. Uh, but if you guys uh, want to let me know how it all, uh, how it turned out, if you guys liked it, uh, let me know, hit the likes, hit the subscribe. I'm going to go to bed. I've been feeling sick all day today. Uh, this I was like, oh, couldn't, be, be, couldn't Ben come on a different day? Because I'm freaking grossed out today. I'm not doing too well. But uh, did it anyway, because I'm I doing it all for you guys. Uh, but uh, all right. You guys hit the likes, hit the subscribes. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later.